Hey guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite a beautiful Australian lady here, Shima Marie. She lent me her gorgeous canvas to create this cool tone, classic smoky eye. I think this like a lot of time we sleep on cool tone when it comes to deeper skin, but I think it's really gorgeous on Shima. I hope you enjoy the makeup look. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you. Enjoy. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. The first product I'm going to use is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. The flavor I'm using today is berry. This is a lip mask to hydrate and protect your dry lips. It's paraben free. And this is a sleeping mask, but you can use a double as a lip balm as well during the day if you like. It does have a little sheen, so when you use matte lipstick, I recommend you blot it down a little bit. But otherwise, it's a great lip balm for you to use. For the rest of the skincare today, I'm going to use from Fortuna. It's a plant-based Italian make brand. The first product I'm going to use is the Micellar Cleansing Essence. Uh, they have bigger bottle, but I like holding the smaller one. This is like a travel size. This one here, you can use a gentle cleanser, toner, and essence. So you don't have to wash it off at all. And you can see it's so a little bit like this. And you can just press on the skin. Or you can use a cotton pad. You can apply that way as well. This is a lightweight formula. It's BH balancing. It's a great antioxidant benefit and it's vegan and cruelty free. So great three in one product. I know you guys love like, you know, thing that multi-purpose is. Next product is the face and eye serum. This serum designed for both face and eyes. It's helped to depuff the eye, boost hydration, with hyaluronic acid, very lightweight. So you can use anywhere on the face. You can use around the eye area. For the rest of the face, it's very lightweight and it's great on the makeup. You see the way I do, it's just apply, pressing the skin like this, really gentle. You can rub it on, it's up to you. But I think this is for me, I like to really press the product into the face. It's a 100% free of sulfate, synthetic fragrance, and parabens. The next product is the Eye Revitalizing Cream. If you use the serum, then I recommend use that first before the cream but you don't have to use the serum under the eye but if you use serum then i recommend a cream or if you don't use the serum then i just recommend use the cream still on the eye this helps to soften lines and wrinkle around the eye over time i'll tell you young but i think it's preventative it's great to start young it's always great it does contain hyaluronic acid to boost moisture. It is vegan and cruelty free. The next product is the Daily Renewal Cream. This is a very lightweight moisturizer. It's great on the makeup. It's light activated, algae to nourish the skin. It's a suitable option for all skin types. You see that I just apply everywhere on the face because I think, especially someone who have uh, olive or deeper skin, if you don't moisturize her, the skin, you can see it. The color a little grayish, so it's better to hydrate everywhere.
Keep some love to the skin. All the skincare products I use today, they are from Pure Package. I love it, so that's why I use all for you guys to see. And I know a lot of people always ask me about, you know, beauty, clean skincare. And I think it's a great brand. It's plant based, so it's great for you to try. The last product I'm going to use is also from them. It's by Face Moisturizing Oil. And the reason I introduce this as well is, is at night, you see if I use moisturizer in the winter and I want to lock in for my all my skincare treatment, I apply the oil on top there. Just to lock in everything. Or when you go on a plane, you want to lock in all your moisturizer, I usually recommend you to do it. You know, when you apply your skincare step and you want to lock everything in, the best way is just locking with the oil. But today, because I'm going to do some kwasha, I want to talk about that as well. And using a little oil is really easy to client skin so it doesn't tuck the skin too much. And people asking me about kwasha is the best way is everything is upward motion. You see the way I'm just doing a little bit for you to see and make sure you have some moisturizer or oil in there so you go in this way you really scoop the skin and I know a lot of people say they can't really do massage in their face really well but this if you get a little tune like this I mean I think every brand they have something like this so it's easy to do and you can really deep up the skin lymph fat drain it it's really great for the skin so you can do all different options you can go everywhere you can see that it's just really really great and the best way we get here you can just You see, very gentle like that. And then you can just do, you know, all different options you can try on the face. And I think this is the easiest way to depuff the face in the morning. Yeah, and then you could go on and on. But I'm gonna do a little bit for you to see. And then I don't think I do this on camera before, but I love to do this. And by the way, all the product, all the tunes that I use, we always list under the description box. Um, so you go down the name and everything, we always list this there in case you wonder. And this oil is a lightweight oil. It does give you that beautiful glow and without being too crazy feeling at all. It's botanical oil. It does contain vitamin C, which is great for daytime as well or nighttime. And it does help you that antioxidant benefit. And like I said earlier, it's helped to protect your skin from dryness. So that's why I say it's locking all the moisture in there a lot of people mix this with moisturizer or they mix them into the foundation as well if you want the extra sheen this is not sticky oil at all so even you add a little sheen it's not like you know that tacky sticky like most of the oil that you have last but not least products before complexion is sunscreen i know i go detail about skincare on this video just because a lot of you request and love the skincare process. So that's why I think once in a while I go really detailed, explain things. I think it's very helpful for a lot of people. If anyone do not like skincare products or any kind of like, you can skip the step. You know, I don't want to hear complain. Just skip it. You can go to the makeup. But there's a lot of us. We love skincare. And that's why I go to very detail. And I say in 
like I said in previous video that I start talk way more about sunscreen as well now uh, because I think it's important we never include before because we film in the studio but I promise that every single video now I want to include sunscreen because it's very important and the one I'm using today is from the Wear Cold and Sunny Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40. This is a great sunscreen especially for some more olive or deeper skin tone. It is reef safe mineral based sunscreen. It's very hydrating. It's hyaluronic acid for skincare benefit and it's tone even out formula. You know a lot of time it gives you that white cast but this one doesn't because it have a little um, it's not a tint but it's help you don't have that white cast at all. It just blend out the skin really well and I think a lot of people worry about using sunscreen before makeup because they're afraid that you know like it's ruined the makeup but it's not at all you find the right sunscreen you apply on the makeup you see how much I put it on and that's how much you should use sunscreen and make sure you use everywhere some on your neck your ear it is very important. Blend on the next as well. For foundation and concealer today, I'm going to use from Dior Beauty. These are the Dior Forever Glow Foundation SPF 15 and the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. All the shades we put on the description box so you can check it out. Shima have flawless skin. I mean, she doesn't need to use anything at all. I mean, look at the skin here. You use a little concealer, a little corrector, that's all she needs. But we always want to play. I say that every time on the camera. So, and because we only have a few shades of the foundation and concealer, uh, I'm going to choose the shade, the closest one that I can get to her complexion. This could look a little warmer than her complexion, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to, you know, use the foundation, but then we just use what we got. And as you see, I use just a little bit and I blend out the brush. I don't want to keep so much covered on the complexion, which you could get from this foundation. It's a long wear formula. It's medium to full coverage, but we don't need to do too heavy on shimmer today. Actually, the foundation, foundation looks fantastic. It's a great match, actually. I was worried a little warm at first, but it's not at all. And this is Radiant Finish Formula. When we talk about Radiant Finish or Matte Finish or Luminous Finish or any kind of finish, I know the brand say one thing, but what you use on the skin to prep is very, it's gonna change the formula, the foundation, keep that in mind. So when we say Radiant Finish, but then if you use a lot of skincare prep or primer or anything like that, and become very dewy finish it's up to you how you want the finish as well you know some people they only use a little primer and ready to go some people they're gonna have their 12 step skincare regimen before makeup so whatever works for you if you're not the type of person who like to use a lot of skincare prep then you can skip them i see a lot of makeup artists on youtube all they do just a little primer and they start makeup if it works for them, it's great. For me, I do like to prep the skin. You know, for me, it's the most important thing. We come to makeup, I work on, you know, fashion, red carpet, everything. For me, if you do a long lasting makeup, it is very important to use skincare prep. If anyone say otherwise, work for them, travel for them. But for me, for a long lasting, the makeup that look throughout the day fantastic it have to be well prepped on the skin keep that in mind this is a very beautiful foundation you see that i just use a little bit and we have real time right now so and another thing i want to address is that a lot of people 
message me or even my assistant or everyone ask me if I've actually used the product on camera or not. And whatever we tell you to use the product, that I use the product, it is the product that we use. We don't cheat the product at all. If I say I use that foundation, I use that foundation. So anyone say otherwise, I mean, it's in your head because I think if you are a great makeup artist or even you just a normal consumer person, if you have a little knowledge about the product, you can apply any type of product really, you know. Um, it doesn't make sense for me to do a YouTube channel, not trying to validate myself and then fake the product for you guys for because right now I use the Dura foundation it is a foundation if I use Maybelline foundation it is Maybelline foundation so and it works for me but then again like I say product is work for different everyone so whatever will work for you work for you I think her skin looks just really beautiful and radiant one thing I want to address about foundation as well if you guys know me or notice me I use either brush or I use a sponge but personally I usually like to use dry sponge I don't use wet sponge a lot of people use wet sponge work great for you it's great but you should know that when you use a damp sponge it does dilute your formula of the foundation as well so if you get less coverage it's not at the way that it's described on the bottom a lot of time because the sponge as well because the water is dilute out the formulation so it's not the same keep that in mind i always use a dry sponge i don't use damp sponge um, nothing to do with the sponge at all i just don't like to dilute the product so that's why i say about foundation it's always a concern for people to choose or find a right formula but like i say your skincare prep and your damn sponge does change the formulation of the foundation so always keep that in mind i also received a pr package from the collab of bk beauty and a celebrity makeup artist nikki la rose this is the set of the pro brushes that she has and i think they're fantastic i'm gonna use some in the video as well for you to see the first brush i'm using is the concealer brush i love this one it is concealer brush but i think you can use for blending everywhere i think it's a great multi-purpose brushes um, the one she has i think you can use for everywhere and you can see that it's really easy to blend and it's really soft it's fantastic brushes this one is a concealer brush. And you can see that. You can just blend with your finger as well, but this is really great for blending. She might have beautiful skin. You see that I just do a little under the eye and around the nose. And that's all she needs for concealer. And if anyone wonder why we not use another model with acne skin, yes, you can see all the application with acne from all the video. I show in detail how I would help to conceal all the breaks out of the acne so we don't have to go through the same process in, in, in every video. Look at me. And this is a beautiful concealer. It's full coverage. I only use a little bit. It's also long wear and it does help natural finish. Um, this brushes I also would use for you know like when you use press shadow or glitter shadow anything like that these are fantastic for that as well it's not just for brush or even for blending around the edges for anything I think you should use that as well not just for concealer I believe they sell mainly on a set not not sure they sell individual or not so you can check it out as well I'm going to use 
Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kit Glow Cream Bronzer. The shade I'm using is actually number four. My team think I should use number three, but I think the shade I want is a little bit more deeper, a little more sculpted, so I go the deeper shade. I mean, if you want more natural, softer one, you can use shade number three. But this is, for me, because this product is so sheer and it's really blendable that you can get away with a deeper shade and it still look very natural. So you see, when you put it on, it look pretty dark, but then you blend it out. It's really natural still, and it gives you that sculpted, healthy looking skin. So it's like I say, it's all personal preference. You still can get with the three, but I use a four just for a more sculpted look. Because I use that as a contour. A little bit everywhere. Let's see. You can see that one side and the other. So if you're a bit more softer, then just use a shade lighter. I'm going to use the same on the other side. And this cream bronzer is medium coverage is natural finish long wear and cruelty free as well do a little bit around the nose here but like i say i don't want i i never do harsh contour so it's for me even it's scooped it it's still very natural and blended for powder i'm going to use the Givenchy prism libre loose setting and finishing powder i'm using two shades one is number four and one is number five i mean all the shades on the bottom of the description box sorry it was a two and five not four and five so i make a mistake i love these brushes this is like i don't think it's for powder but i think it's like you know for all the area that you it's a smaller area this is great for setting and it's great for blending I'm going to use the NAR Cosmetic Laguna Top Free Powder Bronzer uh, this is Laguna 3 and to set where I did the contour earlier with the Charlotte Cream Bronzer. You don't have to do it the same way I do at all, you know, but I like to go back like that just to bring back dimension of the color uh, because, you know, when you use powder, sometimes it diffuses out a little bit. So this way for me, it does bring back all the shading that I did earlier. It's helped to bring back a little bit. But I mean, this is not necessary the way I do and you have to do that at all, but whatever works for you. The bronzer also long wear, radiant finish, paraben and fragrance free. We've been making more notes about the product and we talk more and a lot keep saying it's not very sponsored, but you know, if you don't want, you can mute them. I always, you know, give you all the detail that we could. So it's be more helpful for everyone. For eyebrow, I'm going to use two products from Trio Beauty. The first one is a micro field brow pencil, shade is soft brown. And the second one is the brow lifting wax with lamination effect. Um, you don't have to use the comb thing for lamination if you don't like to. Uh, she might have beautiful eyebrow. I mean, she doesn't have to do anything much at all. She just brush it up and go. But I, I love the shape of the eyebrow, but I'm going to attend them a little longer. And then the rest of them, I'm just going to, you know, chill out. These micro feel brow pencil, they come in four shades. It is very you know, micro fine tip here is easy to mimic the natural hair stroke. But I'm gonna fill in a little front here a little more. And the way I do, I just brush backward like this. And then you 
turn this way for me. And then just make them a little bit longer, not too much. I'm going to do the same on the other side. The way this one here, as you see, one side is the brow gel, and this is the lamination. If you want them really flat, you can do that. The brow wax, I mean, it's called brow lifting wax. like this this give you the lamination effect I personally like just the gel alone you know you don't need to do all these things I think I'm just gonna use the gel alone because I like how just the the brown look just normal natural And this is long wear, and the wax is dry clear. For the eyes area, I'm going to use four products. The first product I'm going to use is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Weightless Eye Primer. The second product is Westman Atelier I Love You Eye Pencil. The cold pencil, this one in black. And the third one is the Lancome Lash Idol Mascara. This one is black as well. One of my favorite. And the last products is the Natasha Denona Xenon Palette. I love these shades. I think this gray and uh, deep tone here, sometimes people sleep on deeper skin tone, but I know a lot of people are away from deeper skin tone with gray tone, but I think it could be really beautiful. So that's one I want to use today. For eye primer, I love this one because pretty sheer. It keeps you a just even canvas. It's pretty universal. You see even on our talent here, uh, you see the skin is deeper, you still see that it's pretty help to you know it doesn't have that white heavy cast at all and i love because it's hold the eyeshadow longer it's even canvas i said already but for me if you don't want to use eye primer you don't have to but when you do a lot of eyeshadow it's great to use eye primer because you have a nice base And some people use concealer, but I find when you use concealer, it's so thick that sometimes, you know, it's just it's so many layers, that thick layer on top, it look quite cakey sometimes around the eye area. So I rather just do a sheer eye eyeshadow primer is better. For the eyeshadow today, I'm doing pretty straightforward application. You know, the way I'm doing is I'm going to use the black in the water line, smudge it out and pull out a little bit to color the eyeshadow that's it if you guys notice for me is that when i do an eye look i use to use everything in the same palette you don't have to do like multiple palettes one shade here one shade there look down for me a little bit honey this eye cold pencils it is vegan and grief free and it does contain the skincare benefit such as jojoba and shea butter close your eye for me so it's very great around that delicate eye area and i do a little bit sniffing for me 
think that's the best way when talent start watering the eye a little bit. You can direct them that way, just the water doesn't come out and gonna ruin the makeup. After you just put, you know, the draw a little bit of the eyeliner on top, you just smudge it out a little bit so it's more a softer, a smudger eye look. And you can wear it just like that as well. You don't need to wear eyeshadow if you don't want to. That could give you nice, like, you know, rock and roll, smudgy, black eyeliner look as well. And what I'm gonna do is because she's watered a little bit earlier, it's come down a little bit, so I'm gonna clean it up. And like I say, Q-tip is your best friend, you know. You can always use them to clean it up. And then whatever left in there, you just smudge it out a little bit here. I'm gonna do, i clean it up here a little bit too. And then you blend it out. But don't worry too much because we're gonna overlay some color on top. So it's not, you, can, you won't see this at all, yeah. So you see, just clean the edges however you like, but this could be a great eye look, look straight for me. And you cut the lashes, lost mascara, you're ready to go as well. You don't have to do anything else if you don't like to. And what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna use that same smudging brush. I use this grayish color here. A little bit under the waterline. And I'm gonna set where I do the smudgy earlier. Just a little bit here. The same on this side. And then I do a little bit there. Next, I'm using the lighter gray color. So this is the lighter, it's like a whitish color. What I'm gonna do, I use the BK Beauty and Nicola Rose brushes. This is like a great full blending brush. Soften the edge it out. Doing the same on this side. I'm gonna use some lighter shades here. This is a great brush you can use for the crease area as well. You see that I'm just using a little bit there. Same color, the lighter color. Do a little bit here. Not too much, you know. And this is point right now. I'm doing the rest, just a little wash, everything. Just not too much. Then after that, I'm gonna go with this shimmering color here. And very little. You see how we do it, just dab a little bit like this, close your eye, and then just brush it out a little bit. And 
and this part is I'm gonna do that just to be a little lifted. And I'm not do that triangle here, triangle there. I'm just this part, I'm just really just brush it up, you know. Blend to the brown bone area. You can go back with all the brush, then you just blend it up more on the edges here. Let's see. On the really like closer to the lash line, one more depth here. You see, I do everything so gentle and very blended a little bit at the time. So it's, you don't get like dusty powder everywhere. I know a lot of people, they do like skin after, but because I do skin first always. So you have to be gentle like the way I do. Otherwise the color, you can't really do this color without making a mess. Okay, let's see, honey. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna curl the lashes off camera and i be right back. For mascara, I'm gonna use two coats. I think the eye look beautiful. It give you that like old school, you know, makeup. And you know, a lot of us, we kind of shied away from the black and gray, especially the pale gray like this on deeper skin. But I think like, it's just beautiful. There's something about that I think is beautiful and I think we should use more. And I mean, this is a gorgeous, beautiful eyeshadow palette. For blush, I'm going to use the new Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Blush Gloss. The shade is punk pink. This is like a blush bomb that you see. I, th I thought it was a highlighter, but it's like, I mean, everyone talk about this now. It was, it's basically a blush bomb that add color and doing it on the cheek. But it's basically, it's, I think it's like, um, depend on your pH palette that I come out with the color like that. So basically like you can use on top of makeup or on bare skin, but basically it look clear, but then it become the color of your natural flesh color. You can see it right now. So basically I use this brush, it's multi-purpose. So I put a little bit of this and you dab it on, you see no color. And then when you apply on the face, you see that she start having that beautiful natural flesh color. Look, it's just beautiful. And I think it's gonna be a different shade on everyone. And that's a beautiful blush color. It's quite amazing actually. I saw when I first got them, I thought it's also it's just like a gloss or highlight gloss, but see that's give you a, just a beautiful natural blush color. Look up for me a little bit. It's just really gorgeous. So I think if you you curious what blush to get for yourself and you don't know, this would be the best one because this is like the most flattering natural flush that come out because it's gonna be a different color on everyone and it's according to your natural pH balance. So this is a great way to choose a blush. You see it's clear and then it's just come out with like a beautiful flush shade. I love this brush. I think that you can use powder as well, but I, I think this is beautiful. And I think you can use foundation brush as well. Let's see. For the rest of the face, this for highlighting or, you know, illuminating, 
I'm going to use the Chanel Beauty Oversight Illuminating Face Powder. The shades I'm using is Precious Coral. They have many different shades, but I just really love these shades on, you know, the deeper skin and olive skin. They have bronzy color as well, but I think this is quite gorgeous. It's very lightweight illuminating formula, so you can use a highlighter or you can use overglow on the face. It comes with five different motives and bows on the powder. So um, this is, it can use anywhere on the face and body. And uh, this one with Camilla flowers. You see that I'm use a little bit like this, just a little bit as a highlight, and it's not like really like sparkling, so you can use anywhere on the face. You know, if you want a little sheen anywhere, you can do that. You can do a little bit everywhere. You can do on the cheekbone, or you can use on the chest. You can use everywhere, and it just gives you that beautiful illuminated glow. I'm sound like an advertising campaign, but it's not. <laughs> but it's very natural, beautiful glow. I love it. And you can use a little bit everywhere, you know. And it's not too uh, heavy highlighting, so it's, it's still photographed pretty well. I just received these three beautiful lip color from a new brand called Ravi. I could be wrong, but I, it's founded by a beauty content creator and beauty lover, Ali Kleins. She is super, super lovely. We know each other from Instagram and it's her new brand. And she came out with her first product. It's three different shades of effortless lips. And it is, for me, the formulation is definitely effortless. For someone who doesn't like like really heavy lipstick, they want just a beautiful, sheer to beautiful formula, this is a great product for you. It provides like a balmy sheen. It gives you that blurred effect. It's a clean formula. She sent me three shades. I think that's the only shade she came out so far. And I put it up like this, and I think I'm gonna pick the bright one you know and because because the color is so natural sheer like this is the first time you know trying a model i try my hand it's, i love the formula this color i think it's going to be gorgeous you see that it's give you that natural flush i was right and it's really beautiful but as you can see this formula and i think you're gonna feel more when you apply yourself because you're gonna feel more the texture of the product than someone apply with a lip brush uh, but this is a really beautiful formula. It's very sheer and um, it's buildable still, but it's such a beautiful formulation that someone who wants just a natural lip formula, this is a great one for you. And I love it. This is such a beautiful color. I think it's beautiful color on Pale skin, deep skin, for me, I think this is a gorgeous color. But you want more neutral shade. She has the other two shades. It's quite beautiful. And keep in mind, for lips color, when it's sheer like this, or for blush, the brighter color, the most actually more natural looking for you. But if you use more like a deeper tone, and if you think it's like more neutral, you on blush, on lips, sometimes it look quite flat. So this is for me, it is quite fresh and this formulation is perfect when you wear this shade on it keeps your face a lot of life you know it's keep a lot of life on the lips on the face i think this is such a gorgeous gorgeous color to complete the makeup i'm going to spray a little bit of mavic plus magic radiance Just a little bit. That's the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed the makeup. Thank you, Shima, so much for coming to the channel. I hope you have a good time with us. And I hope everyone enjoy the look. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you.